I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. Last week we reviewed a truffle infused hot sauce. This week we will be reviewing something a little bit more traditional uh, in the sense that it's just a, a made out of red habanero. But um, we will be reviewing the red habanero sauce from Heartbeat. Okay. Uh, now, Heartbeat is a relative newcomer. They formed uh, as recent as 2015. They are out of uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario, right? So for those of you that don't know, Ontario is in Canada. <gasps> anyway, uh, <laughs> so there's no charities to speak of with this company, but again, they're a relative newcomer. And um, so let's look at a few facts about Thunder Bay though. Cool name for a city, by the way. Uh, Thunder Bay does boast the largest Finnish population outside of Finland. Not sure why they all congregated there, but nonetheless, uh, it is still a fact. It is also home to the Stahl brothers. So for those of you that are NHL fans, uh, the only brother I'm familiar with is Eric Stahl, because I think he played for Carolina uh, a few other teams. But uh, apparently there's four Stahl brothers. All of them made it to the NHL. So uh, very well-known and established family out of uh, Thunder Bay. So um, now let's go ahead and look at the packaging. So look at the bottle. I think this is a really, really neat, uh, first of all, let's look at the logo, right? I think the logo is pretty incredible. Uh, it's a chili pepper, but it looks like a heart. Uh, also, the font is very clean, crisp. The whole label is just pretty nice and elegant. It's black and white. Uh, it is also, um, if you look at the back and you'll see when I show the picture of the ingredients, it's both in uh, English and French because in Canada, I think you have to have all those. Uh, you have to have both languages. What's this though? Look, it's a twisty top. <laughs> Just spurt it out a little bit at me. <laughs> That's embarrassing, but uh, it's a twisty top. So what does that mean? It's a squeeze bottle. It's kind of exciting, right? It's almost like a sports drink. Just will burn your ass when you do it. So let's move on to the ingredients. I'm going to read it off in English. My French really sucks, so <laughs> just bear with me here. Uh, the main ingredient in this is, uh, oddly enough, bell pepper. I'm kind of wondering if it's the orange bell pepper because of the color that it has, right? But uh, it also contains onion, white vinegar, habaneros, right? Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about habaneros. Uh, sugar, garlic, lime juice, culture, uh, I'm sorry, kosher salt, and uh, canola oil. So what we're uh, looking at here when we're talking about habaneros, right? This is specifically the red habanero, all right? Um, this particular pepper, a lot of you are hopefully familiar with it. It's one of, the, I think it's a very delicious uh, chili pepper out there. Um, it originated actually in the Amazon and it was spread by the Spanish uh, once they discovered it. It is uh, mistakenly known as capsaicin uh, chinense, I think, or chinense, which uh, translates to Chinese pepper. Uh, these, uh, the habaneros can range from 100 to 350,000 uh, SHUs. And um, so they're, they're pretty potent. But one thing I found about habanero is they're very, they mix very well with fruit. So we'll see how everything all goes together and we'll talk a little bit about the recipe that I tried this with. So um, before we get any further in our program, let's hear from our sponsor. When you're on the go and need something more reliable than a watch to keep track of your heart rate, look no further than Wholehearted, the first rectal heartbeat monitor. No more unbalanced feeling of having a watch on one arm and not the other. You'll have a more intimate connection with Wholehearted, that's for sure. Available in sizes ranging from sphincter small to gaping chasm. It's time to taste the sauce, All right? Uh, again, so you do have to shake this one well. They don't use uh, xanthan gum in there, right, like a few of the other ones have. 
Uh, so you do have to shake it pretty well. Uh, it is nice and I mean, it's, it's a little, it's not quite viscous, right? So let's get right into this, right? Ah, to hell with the spoon, right? You got a squeeze bottle here. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. So one thing about habanero, it's a very slow burn. Starting to come on a little bit there. Um, you can definitely feel it in the back of the back of the tongue and in the back of the throat. I'm probably turning a little red right now. Uh, still <laughs> feeling a little sweaty. So this one is uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit hotter than the other sauces we've had so far. Last week's was a 2,500 uh, uh, SHUs. I believe this one's at 4,000. Again, it's not that that spicy of a sauce, but um, and you could taste the bell pepper in there, a little bit of the garlic. You could definitely taste habanero. Again, habanero I think it pairs well with uh, sweeter items. So you have the fruit juices like uh, the lime. You have the sugar in there. The habanero just, it's pretty versatile, right? And overall, I think the sauce is a very versatile sauce. It's got a tinge of sweetness to it, again, because you have sugar. Uh, what I like about this company, they don't like using a lot of water. They don't like using preservatives. So uh, everything you're getting here is very natural. Uh, what I did pair it with uh, whenever I did uh, create it, or when I cooked with it, I created a uh, chicken tortilla soup. So, I mean, just once I was done with the soup, just squirted that in there, went perfectly well with it, right? I mean, it was a perfect combination with, I uh, already had a lot of heat with the, with the jalapenos I had in there. Uh, then you had the, um, you know, the avocado, the chicken, um, and just everything, the tomatoes, everything just came together perfectly well, and this popped it off perfectly. Uh, I've also tried this on uh, eggs. Uh, then I usually cook my eggs, I fry them and do them over easy, put some of this on there and it's just, it's just a really great sauce. I think it's very versatile. Uh, I think you can put it on anything really except maybe, I, I'm reluctant to put hot sauces on beef unless they're pretty hefty and hearty. Um, but definitely like anything, chicken, pork, veggies, uh, I would definitely say go with that. Uh, I'm going to start doing a different classification system now with these. So with the, uh, the first three sauces we had, I would call those lightweights. So I'm going to go lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. Uh, this one might be on the border of middleweight, again, because the habanero has a really slow burn. It's not the hottest thing, though, so, but I, I'm going to put it as a middleweight, all right, uh, but on the very, very low end. I'm going to have to even create super heavyweight if some of these sauces are really as strong as they appear to be. Overall, this is a very delicious sauce. I mean, this makes me want to just sing, Oh, Canada, my home and native land. <laughs> I'll be trying out for Mexican Idol pretty soon. Uh, overall, just a really, really great sauce, and um, I'm really excited to try some of the other ones from Heartbeat, so. All right, next week we will be reviewing a sauce called Yucateco. This is from the Yucatan, the Yucatan Peninsula, right, uh, out of Mexico. Uh, that one I'm very excited about. It's the extra hot version, so let's see what that one brings. I think it's uh, clocking in at 11,900 uh, SHUs, so should be fun. We'll see how that goes. All right, so once again, I'm your host. Henry, and remember, spice of your life. Take care.